Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever episode of How to Draw on Procreate. Original title, I know. So these are all the Procreate artworks I've done since I've had my iPad Pro. So today I'm just going to show you some simple basics and uh, get you set up on Procreate for the first ever time. As you can see, these things down the bottom are my very first things, and the stuff at the top are my latest. And we're going to get you drawing things like this by the time I'm finished with you. Okay, so let's set up a blank piece of paper or canvas. This is A4 size, it's a standard size that you draw on. So, what we're going to do first, I'm going to show you how to draw. So if you take your eye to the very top right corner, you'll see a circle with any colour in. I'm not sure what it is to start with, but you click on that and you get brought up a colour wheel. That's basically any colour you can ever imagine in this one wheel. So if you want to select, for example, blue, you can just select the blue on the colour wheel and set any shade you wish. And then if you want a simpler or different way of selecting your colour, you can just click on the different options on the bottom. And if you prefer classic, for example, you can pick any colour by just using the sliders and then pointing to whatever shade you want. So, how I always start drawing is with a blue. I always use blue just to stand out from the ink marks that I would normally use. So. I use blue as if it's pencil, and then I'll use black as if it's ink. It just helps define between the two. So you've got all these different options when you click the paintbrush at the top. You can do your sketching in pencil if you want, or ink. I always use the studio pen. So before you start drawing, there's a, li a simple little thing called layers. So to select the layers, click the two squares in the top right hand corner. And a layer is basically, um, if you're going to draw a street scene, you draw each different bit of it on a different layer. So you draw the cars on the one, you draw the people on another, you draw the background on another, you draw the road on another, uh, and so on and so on. So it's like you're building up a 3D image, if you like. So what I always would do, though, is draw your pencil marks or your initial sketching ones, the rough ones, on one layer and then we'll make a new one later on in the video when we go over our creation in ink so it's to separate your penciling and pen and to separate your colors as well and to separate any other components that make up that bigger picture that you're trying to create so loads of little pictures and those little pencil marks and pen marks and colors will all in the end make up one big piece sounds complicated but it's not so as you can see, I'm drawing one of my chicken characters uh, in my blue pen. So, as you can see, they're rough marks, they're scraggy, they're dirty, if you like. Um, but we'll be going back over them, cleaning them up later in the video. So, as you can see, we've got our chicken. So, what we'll do is make a new layer. So, you just click the plus sign on the layers option. It's really simple, and that will set up a brand new layer for us. So... Then we will select the black pen, so it's on a separate layer, and will act as like if you was going over your pencil sketches in an ink pen. So we'll go over them, all neat and tidy, and one clever thing is if you hold down a shape, it will straighten it for you. So if you draw a rough, dirty circle, you just hold down on it, and it will make it circle like, like you can see on those eyes that I've done there. Um, that way it will stop any bad shapes. It's particularly useful when you're trying to draw something like Mickey Mouse. So you draw your three circles and hold them and they will straighten automatically for uh, to make it absolutely perfect if you like. Now you can't get that with paper and pen. When I normally ink I add extra little details along the way or make any little adjustments but always use your little blue pen or your pencil layer to try and make out any rough marks to start with. So once you've finished inking it, we want to colour it in. So you go back to your layers 
and you're going to well there's two ways you can colour in you can colour it in like you would if you was painting it in real life or colouring it in with pens in real life uh, or you could fill it in in block colours like so it's all one big colour you've got no marks of where you've been drawing so it's all up to you so as you can see we've currently got our pencil layer and we've got our ink layer so what we want to do if we want to colour it in manually so like if we're using colouring pencils you add another layer bring it below the ink one that we've just done so it doesn't interfere with the pen lines because if not it'll go over the top and it'll affect the black outline of it so if you go underneath bring your layer underneath the inking select a paintbrush or a colouring pencil or whatever you want on there select the colour you want to colour in so the chicken's beak's going to be yellow and then you just colour in manually like so simple that's probably the easier option to start with but if you want to challenge yourself you want to select another colour so if you can't be bothered to colour it in manually what you do is select a new layer but actually this time rather than selecting a brand new layer you're going to duplicate your original black pen this will make sense in a minute so you just slide it across and click duplicate you select the one that's further down in the layers list so you're not affecting the pencil and pen marks that are on top the real key bits to the picture because you go over that you're going to start having bits of black here bits of black there so you select the one underneath the top one so that top one's like the master copy so what you do is just drag and drop into your solid areas so um, if you want to add extra depth and shade the reason why we have created that duplicate layer that's below is so you don't go over the black so you can just add in these shades as you can see it's not going over the black the black still staying on top as the master copy but I'm just going to show you now what as you can see if you choose the top layer which is the master pen work it's going to go over the black and we don't want that because it's going to ruin our work so why well, I select the second um, layer down the duplicate layer of the black and then we can add as much depth and detail in as we want without affecting the overall piece so have a play around with this because I tend to end up using a bit of both so I do a bit of block filling and then I will add additional texture in by using a paintbrush over it like you can see there. So once you've finished your masterpiece you're going to want to know how to save it. I know a lot of people when they start they're just screenshotting what they've done or they're taking a picture of the tablet they've drawn it on and this is sort of going to reduce the quality and professionality of your work. So what you want to do is click that spanner that you can see at the top and click on the share button which I'm clicking now. and then you're going to select JPEG. Don't worry if you don't know what a JPEG is, you're just going to save it to your camera roll in the end. So you can save it as your wallpaper, put it on social media or your parents can. So yeah, you select JPEG. Once it's exported, just click save image and that will save to your iPad or your tablet. As you can see, it's made it in there. So one last thing on Procreate. So if we go back to Procreate and we're still on that spanner which is like the menu, you go on to the two squares that say add. This is if you want to add a photo into copy so you can have it beside what you're drawing and you can keep looking at it for reference. So if you want to draw Woody or Buzz from Toy Story, you just screenshot your image off Google and then insert it as a photo which is the op option there so if you click add then insert a photo and then you can select any photo from your iPad I'm gonna select my Donald Duck drawing which is on my new tutorial video if you want to take a look and then we can have him there move him about he's on a separate layer so we can get rid of him at any time or click the little tick box which will make him disappear um, this will make it easier for us to copy something if we were drawing. We can get rid of him. If you ever make mistakes, you can always select the layer you didn't like and click the tick and get rid of it. 
or if you've done bad colouring in and you want to get rid of it again you just hide it with that tick I will bring it back and you can try it again by duplicating the layer or making a new one to colour in and the other way of getting rid of things is with the rubber tool which is fairly self explanatory the rubber at the top is next to the two squares in the coloured circle you select that and you rub it out but always be aware where your master layer is so your pen work because you don't particularly want to rub that out so you'd select your colour layer if you want to get rid of the colours you'd select your pencil layer if you want to get rid of some of the pencil but not all of it and you select your pen layer if you want to rub out some of your pen so hopefully that all makes sense um, I'm going to do a few of these videos and make it a little bit harder each time I'm showing you some new awesome stuff on Pro Create. so let the excitement begin